welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. This is going to be a new thing that I'm going to be having on my channel. I am eventually going to open a secondary channel for all the hauls. I always get messages from people saying, well, you know, you do all this cooking. Why don't you show items that you buy? Well, I have a thing where I don't just like to go to the grocery store and just buy the typical stuff for my main channel. I also like to go to the Dollar Tree and go and try to find things that are, you know, a lot less expensive. A lot of people are in a situation where they just plain can't afford things that, that are higher priced at the regular grocery store and you will be surprised what you can find at the Dollar Tree. So enough with the yakking and let's go ahead and get started with the haul. It's not a very big haul guys, just a small one. I just wanted to see what y'all thought. Just let me know in the comments. Don't forget, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And I will be posting the name of the secondary channel very, very soon. It's going to be in no particular order, guys. It's just going to be a, a random thing that typical stuff that I like to buy. And this is name brand stuff that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Don't think it's just off brands. You do find off brands. But a lot of name brand stuff has hit the Dollar Tree lately. Okay, I like to buy the Sunkissed Pineapple, the Zero Sugar, and their Singles to go. So I just keep a couple of these in my car. You know, when I carry my water bottles, you know, the water bottle thing can get boring. Just add one of these. So I got the Pineapple. I got the Wilder's Light, the Peach Iced Tea, and the Hawaiian Punch one as well. All these are sugar-free. Okay, the next item that I got that I had never seen before at the Dollar Tree are these toffee cashews. And this is a 4.5 ounce can. I haven't tried them yet. It's from Imperial Nuts. If you've ever tried them or heard of them, leave it in the comment. Let us know what you think. After I try them, I will update you in a later video. Okay, the next thing I got, of course, is for my cooking channel. I'm always going through broth, stocks, and stuff. For the most part, I'll make it. But when I don't have it, I like to have some on reserve. And this is beef flavored broth. It is from Kendall Farm and it's all natural. No added MSG and it's gluten free. And it's 32 ounces for $1. Can you believe that? So I did get me two of these in that same aisle at my Dollar Tree. I, I go to several. And I will list in the description box down below which Dollar Trees I visit in my area. I also got this guava nectar from Humix. I love this stuff for breakfast. I have me a little cup that I use for this and this is from Concentrate. I have a little bit of this and it kind of fills you up. It's very good. You need to give this a try. This is a regular pickup on my list. Another thing for the kitchen that I go through like crazy and I'm sure everybody else does too now that school's back in, in order, are these sandwich bags. You get 45 bags. These are the zipper seal tops. I like the ones that flap over because sometimes I have a little bit of onion or a half of a tomato and I put it in there because I'm going to use it real quick. So I like to use these and I did pick me up two. Regular pickup on my list. Now that the Valentine season is upon us, I did pick up a couple of things. I am going to be doing some DIYs, some candy stuff coming up. So I needed to get some stuff. These are the Russell Stover's Itty Bitty Hearts. And this is a 1.4 ounce. And they're just little tiny hearts. When I open them, I will insert a picture in another video. So you can see these. And of course, name brand Russell Stover's. Who doesn't love that? And I also picked up the original six lits in the Valentine colors. You get 25 individual pieces. I like to use these. What I do is I open them up and I put them in a Chex Mix video coming soon. Stay tuned for that. I also picked up something new that I hadn't seen, new to me anyway, is this Hershey's Milk Chocolate Pretzel Bites. It's got a salty pretzel center with a chocolate coating. I can't wait to try these. If you've tried them, let us know in the comments what you think. This is a 2.3 ounce bag. It seems like a pretty good amount of product for a you know little snack. I also got on that Valentine theme with some napkins, some party napkins. This was in the, uh, it was in the Valentine section. There's 18 pieces. And what it looks like is the shiplap wall with a jute rope with a heart attached with the clothespin. Really, really cute. So I like to use these for the season. 
And I also picked up for another video that I'm making are these Smarties Love Hearts. And they are the candy rolls that do have sayings on them. Just like the conversation hearts, but these are the Smarties. This is also for a DIY. Since I'm always at the grocery store, I always take like to take my bags. And I did find these cute bags. Look at that. Farmer's Market. And it's a nice little, um, it's not a burlap, it's like a canvas texture or material. And it's a good size bag. I haven't measured it, but it's a good uh, 14, 15 inches. Let's see if it says on the tag. It doesn't say on the tag, but I'm going to take this off so you can see the full thing. It's got some good long handles. Look at that. Super nice. I did get me two of those. I should have got me some more. I think I might go back and get me some more. So I did get two. You find these, pick them up. Good quality. Last thing for the kitchen. I picked up some of these uh, racks. I use these all the time in my pantry. I always have, you know, different layers. Or for my coffee cups, you know, this adds additional space to your cabinet. So I've always picked these up. I picked up four of them. But right now I've already put the other ones away. So this is a typical not new item for the Dollar Tree. Which the price for a dollar, you just cannot beat it. Look them up on Amazon. They're crazy expensive. Okay, and for my cleaning products... I got me, uh, I had never seen some of these scents before, the Fabuloso with vinegar. This is an apple scent. I did open them. Smells just like green apple. I really think I'm going to enjoy this with my cleaning stuff. I got that one. And I also got the Fabuloso with baking soda and the orange scent. Let's see if it smells like orange. This one's closed. But yes, it does smell like orange. There we go. Yes, it does. Very nice. I think this is going to be something that you will enjoy if you haven't tried it. The last one that I picked up was the Fabuloso Refreshing Lemon Multi-Purpose Cleaner. And this one I have seen before. Mm, and it smells just like lemon. I love it. So we got three of these. And in my Dollar Tree, early on in the pandemic, we could not find alcohol anywhere. I mean, everybody was scrambling for the typical supplies. Well, they had some, lots of them at my Dollar Tree. And this is a 70% alcohol. This is what you need for sanitation, for disinfectant. So I did pick up four. Three and four. And like I said, there was plenty on the shelf. So I probably will go back and get me some more. I like to use this with a pouch of wipes, and I pour a whole cup of it in there and I keep it in my car. I keep carry it with me in the grocery store to be disinfecting my hands all the time. Very important. Okay, and in the crafting aisle, I am going to be making some, like I said, some DIYs. Uh, baskets some Valentine baskets for my cooking channel I found these stickers I, I don't think they're new I think we saw these there last year and they are hearts but they are little wood hearts and they do have a pop-up sticker in the back or you can hot glue them to your project whatever is good for you some of these have a little bit of glitter on them these have no dis no color you can write somebody's name you can write little conversation hearts these are the cutest. Staying on the Valentine theme, I also picked up two ribbons for my baskets. It says, I picked you, and it has a heart. Very simple, very cute. And it also came with a Cupid holding a heart with little tiny hearts in a burlap theme. Very nice. And, of course, the loot bags. I always pick up the treat bags, 20 pieces for a dollar because I never know what I'm going to be doing on my main channel and I always need treat bags. I'm always giving stuff away to my family and I like of course the presentation means everything. So we got these regular pickup and they did not disappoint with these glass cases with the um, clam shell closure there and with the hearts. Look at that how cute. I got this one and I also picked up this one. Look at how cute those are. And I needed some of these for my bedside table. Got my reading glasses and stuff in there. 
got to protect them. And now, wait till you see these loot bags that were in the party section. But I'm, I use them to send out baking stuff for when I give a gift for somebody. But look at these metallic bags. Look at that. Look at that fuchsia. This is a silver, and it looks iridescent. Look at that, how beautiful. And then a blue. Beautiful. Can you imagine putting stickers? You can even put the, the Valentine stickers on these if you want. Put somebody's name on it. Great idea. These are absolutely beautiful. I could see these being used for even planners to use as covers. I think they're great. I've never seen this bag before at the Dollar Tree. At least not for me. Okay, we're almost to the end, guys. Stay, hopefully you stay with me. I did say I'm going to be making some baskets. I did find this Cupid's Corner basket. Look at how cute. This is new to my Dollar Tree. Normally they have the typical Happy Valentine's Day or Be Mine or but isn't this the cutest thing? And a really good size for a gift basket, which I will be making. So stay tuned for that. And a regular pickup different colors. I got the metallic shred in the red. I got two of those. And look at this laser cut out heart basket. Look at that. I think these were around last year, but they are also a great size like for kids. And I think it would make a really pretty basket. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've tried any of these products let us know in the comments what you thought about them and the new valentine things that you're finding let us know in the comments so we can all run and get them i hope to see you again soon if you stuck around till the end i appreciate you thank you for being here and i'll see you on the next one don't forget subscribe and a big old like bye